Welcome to today, 2,379 of What You Have To Now. Sharon Hornell, I'm here documenting journey, sharing my lessons learned and things that worked and haven't worked. I laugh every time I post my videos in the morning. I see past things that I've done that were epic failures, yet I still post on those pages and in those groups to try to, try to uh, recover some of the time and energy that I wasted in following endeavors, following things that weren't right for me. Other people have tremendous success with some strategies that I flop on my face with. And I do really well with some strategies and implementing some things that other people, the vast majority of them, cannot make work or flop on their face with. I think that's just because different things click with us. Different things are for us. And the things, the more we get in alignment with the things that are for us, the easier our life is, the better our life is, the more grateful we are for the blessings in our life. So Today and this entire month on the Let's Grow Annual Challenge, we're doing one thing every day to grow. We're focusing on the area of confidence, meaning our belief in ourselves. That's my definition of confidence is my belief in myself and my ability to create the life I want, move forward in my life, grow in my life in all the different areas and aspects of my life this month specifically with respect to confidence. So today we are identifying our confidence growth thoughts and our confidence growth beliefs. Why? Because as we will examine them at the end of the day, we will find that, and I can almost guarantee that 100% of the people that do this exercise will find at least one belief or thought that conflicts with another. Now, I find them all the time. I will be thinking I want to do something and I'm going to do it. And then all of a sudden I'll find myself procrastinating and not doing it. Well, whenever I catch myself doing that, one of the things I do is I stop and I do some self-reflection and I'm like, okay, what are my thoughts and beliefs around this? And are there conflicts between what my thoughts and beliefs are and what my desires are? And they usually are. And until we remove those or fix those or change those thoughts and beliefs, we're going to struggle moving forward. We're going to struggle creating what we want because whatever belief is stronger at the time, that's the one we will act. Or if it's a negative thing to us and our psyche is trying to keep us safe, we'll not want to step out of our comfort zone. We will not take action. We will not do the things that we absolutely positively know we need to do in order to be successful. So we were thinking about talking about that today. So all this month, we'll be focusing on confidence. If there's a topic or area with respect to confidence that you would like us to dive deep into or cover, please share in the comments below. For Supersize Your Business, we talked about uh, adapting to changes in the ever-changing billion-dollar influencer marketing industry. And are you tapping into that and using influencers? And we talked about some of the different things that have changed in that whole, the use of celebrities or spokespeople for our businesses or uh, people that we join forces with in order to grow and build and supersize our business faster. It's an incredibly powerful strategy when done correctly. I think I want to add when done correctly, whenever I recommend or say anything. And I, I think I do say that a lot. How can I help? And when done correctly are probably two of my most common thoughts, at least not necessarily my most common phrases or what comes actually out of my mouth. I'm finding that uh, in most of our interactions with other human beings, and this includes our work life as well as our personal life, if we listen more, ask more questions, and then listen for the answers, People will show us and tell us everything we need to know about them in order to figure out how can we help or that we can't help and we need to find someone else to help them or that uh, we are going to choose not to help. We'll just be a sounding board because we know that they already know the answers for them and the next thing they need to do. We're just a guide to help them do that. Uh, we have Stacy's story and guide to the Let's Grow Annual Challenge private Facebook group page. We've got uh, different ways of identifying your beliefs and then share document them i say you got to write it down i mean people will argue with me all the time and they'll perfunctionally do or use a tool and then they'll be like oh that doesn't work for me and i'll say well did you write it down did you write down your goals did you write down your thoughts and beliefs and then look at them at the end of the day because Otherwise, it's just like anything else. We have tens of thousands of thoughts a day that pop in and out of our head. And we cannot possibly be consciously aware of all of them. And that's why even if we make a big list and write them down, we're still probably only going to see the tip of the iceberg. Maybe 10% of the things that we're actually thinking about confidence will capture and write down. So remember that as we're doing different 
exercises and tools that what you put into them is what you get out of them. Hmm, true about just about anything, right? All right, if I can help you anyway, ask. Otherwise, have an awesome day, and I'll, of course, be with you tomorrow.